one should such fellows as I do crawling between earth and heaven. Mark me, old man! Come, Ophelia, away! What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculty. In form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world. The paragon of animals. And yet to me, what is this quintessence of dust? My offense is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the eldest primal curse upon it. A brother's murder. Pray can I not, though inclination be as sharp as will, my stronger guilt defeats my strong intent. And like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause. I shall first begin. Are the queen, your husband's brother's wife? And would it were not so? You are my mother. Nay, then I'll set those to you that can speak. No, no, you go not. I'll set you down till I set you up a glass where you may see the inmost part of you. What was I do? That was not mad at me. What ho, help, help! Such an act that blurs the grace and blush of modesty, calls virtue hypocrite, takes off the rose from the fair forehead of an innocent love, and sets a blister there, <gasps> makes marriage vows as false as Dice's oath. I mean, what act? Look here. Upon this picture, and on this, <gasps> the counterfeit presentment of two brothers. Look, what a grace was seated on this brow. Hyperion's curls, the front of Jove himself, an eye like Mars to threaten and command. This was your husband. These words like daggers enter in mine ears. A murderer and a villain! A slave, not twentieth part the tithe of your president lord! No more! A king of shreds and patches! <laughs>